Hi, I'm Claire from New York, please like and subscribe. I lived with my amazing single mom who had a tough time raising me on her own. As I grew older, I was determined to work hard and give her a good life one day. I got into a great high school on full scholarship and helped her out by waitressing on weekends. One evening, I was dashing like crazy at the subway station. I was so late for my shift. Suddenly I bumped straight into someone. But I just shouted an apology and ran off to my train. Just as I was about to get on, someone gently took my hand. I turned around to see the most gorgeous boy ever. Hey, you dropped this. He placed something in my hand and I gasped it was my bracelet. Thank you so much. I would have been devastated if I'd lost this. I'm so glad I found you, no, you found me, I mean, the bracelet, his smile went all the way up to his warm brown eyes. You're welcome. Um, do you think we could maybe? Just then the doors started closing and I shouted, sorry, got to go. As the train pulled away, I felt like such an idiot. I didn't even ask for his name for the next couple of months. I kept hoping I'd bump into him on the way to work, but no such luck, summer break was over. And I was really looking forward to seeing my best friend Tessa, who'd been away on vacation. We hugged excitedly and she put her arm through mine as we walked to class. There's so much, I have to tell you, but first, did you ever find the training guide? No, it sounds stupid Tess, but we had an instant connection. He almost asked me out and now he just disappeared. All Claire will hunt the whole city down till we find him. Now, come on, let me introduce you to my new boyfriend, David. She walked up to a tall guy and when he turned around, my heart almost stopped. It was the freaking train guy. He didn't seem to recognize me as Tessa introduced us, telling me how their dads were friends and they'd met on vacation. His family had recently moved to our town, so he'd joined our school. Of all the guys in the world, Tessa had to meet him. The first class we had that day was English literature. And to my dismay, the teacher chose me and David to read out something from Shakespeare. I picked out a scene from Romeo and Juliet, but David muttered loudly. Geez, kill me now. What? You don't like it? Um, no, it's a story about two people who were so dumb. I was happy when they died. It's so lame. Oh, is that your expert opinion as a world-famous writer? No, it's my expert opinion. As someone with good taste, it's not romantic. It's stupid. Dying for love is stupid? The dumbest you have the emotional depth of a teaspoon. At least I have a brain. But fine. You want me to be stupid, Romeo? I'll do it now. I don't want to. Now I pulled the book away from him as he held onto it tight. And suddenly we both fell down, ripping it in half. Everyone was staring at us and the teacher told us to go back to our seats. Oh, this guy was so annoying. It wasn't a great start, but because of Tessa, we both made an effort to be nicer and I wanted to hate him, but I really couldn't. He was smart, funny, sweet. He was kind of perfect for Tessa, of course. Some months later, we had a big calculus assignment to work on. But when I went to the library, only David was there. He told me Tessa wasn't feeling well. And I sat down awkwardly. As we got busy working. I suddenly noticed David looking at my notebook. You're doing it the wrong way. My answer is the same as yours, but why use such a long method when there's a shortcut? Because shortcuts lead to mistakes. Watch and learn he pulled his chair closer and started scribbling away. I could hardly focus. Gosh, he smelled so good. They're done. Okay, you're the genius. I'm calling it a day. I gathered my stuff and started to leave, but he followed me. Have I offended you? Why does it always seem like you're mad at me? No, I'm... Not, yes you are. I am not. Just tell me, Claire, why are you angry at me? Suddenly the words just came spilling out. Because you didn't remember me. Wait. What? Nothing. It's nothing. I'll see you on. And with that, I ran off. Why did I have to say such a dumb thing? A few weeks later, we had the spring dance at school and I accepted when a boy from class Eric asked me to go with him. I was actually having a pretty good time. And when I stopped to rest, Tessa and David joined me that Eric seems like great boyfriend material Claire. Yeah, I guess he's nice, but you're still hoping to find the train guy, right? Oh my god. Tessa, please shut up. Train guy? Oh, yeah, babe, this guy found Claire's bracelet on the train station and they had this like electric romantic moment, but Claire left and never saw him again. She even tried looking for him, but nothing. 
I just wanted to magically disappear from the most humiliating moment of my life. Eric came just then and whisked me off to the dance floor. The next day, I was just really distracted at work. I broke two glasses, knocked over a jug of water, and then I bumped into a waiter sending food flying everywhere. I was pretty sure I'd be fired, but that night got even worse. When I suddenly noticed my bracelet was gone, it broke down into tears and the staff helped me look all around the kitchen. The manager even let me stay back and search the restaurant once the customers were gone. But I didn't find it anywhere. Feeling crushed, I finally left and walked straight into someone outside. If you like our story, please press like, subscribe, and leave a comment of your thought. Stay tuned for part 2.